Hey there, it's Binu here and today we are going to learn some essentials in Krita 5.0 and how to design a character with this cute little guy right here. God, look at them. I'm kind of getting distracted with all these cute videos of them that I keep forgetting to finish making this video. So let's just get on with it. What we will be learning today is how you can conceptualize a cute little character and create a 5.0 turnaround for them all inside of Krita 5.0. And if you do need a refresher of Krita, you can head over to this card right here of our beginner's guide to Krita. But today we'll take a look at the new version of Krita and some changes they have made to the software. So some of my colleagues and I wanted to create this cute little red panda character and we really wanted to perfect them to have a very cute and recognizable look while still being able to be identifiable as a red panda. So we went through a long process of conceptualizing the design of this character to be as cute as possible before we took them to an animation ready stage. So we'll start off with the various concept sketches I did of this character. I started by watching a bunch of super cute red panda videos on YouTube and gosh, aren't they the cutest? Anyways, we wanted them to stand on two feet and have arms that could be articulated like a small person. So that we could have much more freedom when it comes to expressing their emotions. So this was my very first sketch of the red panda, but we wanted to make them more simplified and not have as many tiny details all over them. And another little detail we wanted to add to them was to have a part of their left ear missing so that they could be clearly identified among other red pandas. So next I started drawing out various simplified versions of their head like so. And then with some discussions we picked what we liked out of all those and drew him out with their whole body. But this design felt a bit generic and widely used to most of us. And our team member Roshan came up with this more unique design for this red panda and we wanted to merge our previous design with this one. So we did a little bit more exploration into this style of the character, but it still didn't feel cute enough. But finally, we decided on these two final designs. But now we were struggling to pick which was the cutest out of these two. So we went on to an internal vote to pick which was the cutest, and this was the design that won out of the vote. So you guys can also let us know if you made the right call on the design down in the comments. And if you're liking how they look, do let us know what you think their name should be. And huge thanks to Sketchfab for sponsoring this video. Sketchfab is a super cool site with a huge library of 3D models and assets accessible for everyone. And not just that, it allows you to upload, buy and sell all kinds of 3D assets easily. So don't forget to check out Sketchfab for all your 3D model needs with our link down in the description. And now we will go on to Krita to create a turnaround for this character so that we know what they will look like from all angles. So I'm gonna open a new document in Krita and the first thing we are gonna wanna do is go to Window, Workspace and select the Animation Workspace. This gives you access to all the tools you will need for something like this. And typically I like to move my Onion Skins panel over here so that I have more space for my canvas. So we are going to create our character in a very static pose and we want them to be very symmetrical so that we can easily maintain volume when we animate their turnaround. I'm going to start by turning on the symmetry option and I will import my style frame onto the canvas like so. And I'm positioning them to be in the middle of the canvas and I will bring down his opacity so that I can draw over it. I'm going to pick a nice pencil brush from here. And you can always add all your favorite brushes to your favorites like this so you can easily access them. Now I need to animate each frame in different angles so that it will look like he's on a 3D turntable. Before we get onto that, I'm gonna go into settings, configure Krita and into the animation section under keyboard shortcuts and assign a shortcut to create blank keyframe as you will be needing to create new keyframes each time you need to draw a new pose. And then make sure to press that key to create a new keyframe and I draw everything out with symmetry on and turn it off when I draw parts that aren't symmetrical like the ears and the tail. So once I'm done with the front facing pose, I'm gonna go to frame 12 and create a new keyframe and I copy off the first keyframe and I flip them horizontally using the transform tool. And I will erase all the details and modify it so that they look like they're facing the back. Now when they're turning around, I'm going to keep all the details and features on the same position. So to do this neatly and perfectly, I will be using guides on the canvas. 
To get this, head over to view and check show rulers. And now you can simply drag in guidelines onto your canvas as you need. So I'm placing guidelines on details where I need help with consistency like ears, the eyes, the limbs and all. So once you're happy with the placement of these guides, go to view and check lock guides. Now when you work on your canvas, these guides won't get in the way of your brush. And then I just keep drawing each pose up to the back facing pose while following along my guidelines and making sure each detail is in the correct position. As for the latter part of the animation where he goes from facing the back to the front side, we can duplicate all of our previous frames and just flip them horizontally and make small adjustments to the details. And there you go, now we've made them turn a full 360 while maintaining their volume and keeping all their details in check. And here's a random red panda fact for you. You've seen red pandas stick their tongues out a lot, right? Well, you might think it's just because they're the cutest animal ever, but that's not the case. Apparently, they do that to test odors and particles by passing them from their tongue to a gland located in their mouth. Well, I guess it does make them extra cute as well. So if you guys are enjoying the video so far, do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as it helps us out a lot. Okay, back to this now. Next, I'm gonna lower the opacity on this guy and create a new layer for the inks. And I'm gonna select this brush called Basic 5 Size as I feel it's really good at producing clean lines. We can also add some brush smoothing under tool options right here to have more control over our lines. For this, I like to keep the distance at around 100 and then I ink all the frames just as before. Just a reminder though, always make sure you're pressing the create new keyframe button before drawing a new frame. Now I'm gonna color him using the style frame as a reference to pick colors from. So I'll be creating a new layer under the inking layer and I'm going over to the paint bucket tool to fill in his base color. And I'm gonna head over to its tool settings and set it to sample color labeled layers. And now I'm gonna right click on the inking layer and label it as red and head back to the tool options and set the label to be used as red. So now it will only sample the inking layer and it will fill within your outline. And now I repeat this for all the other layers as well. Now I'm going to add in the details. I'm going to do this by creating a quick group on the color layer like so. And now I can create new layers inside of this color fill layer. And when I paint on it, these colors won't go out of this main base layer. With this, I color in all the dark parts and the white parts as well on separate layers. And finally, I'll be adding some shadows on him by using a layer set to the multiply blending mode and using the black color on a lower opacity. This gives him a bit more of a three-dimensional effect as he rotates. And I top it all off with a small shadow beneath him and a light blue solid background. And now we are ready to render him out. If you wanna know how to render a video inside of Krita easily, you can head over to our getting started with Krita video over here. And there you have it. We will also be exploring how we can animate this character in our next video, which is also part of this Krita series. So make sure to keep your notifications on for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and learned a thing or two about Krita and Red Pandas. And do make your own cool little turnarounds in Krita and make sure to share them with us in our Discord. And if you come across any issues, we are always here to answer your questions down in the comments. Big shout out to our awesome patrons on Patreon for supporting us. So if you want us to keep making more cool videos for you guys, you can go support us over there. And we've got a Discord as well where you can hang out with us and other creatives and share all your awesome work with us. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you thought about today's video. And have a great day and we'll catch you guys on the next video.